Hey guys, Sean Pruitt with Kingdom Exploration. One of the number one questions I receive in oil and gas uh, from oil and gas investors is, how do the tax benefits work? Well, I came to IRS.gov to show you that I'm not making this up. IRS, the IRS has allotted uh, specific tax benefits to investors that get involved with oil and gas. Now, what exactly are you writing off? Well, just like in any other business, you get to write off uh, certain mileage on your car, the gas you put in your car, uh, uh, business meeting expenses if you're taking them out to lunch, what have you. And so in the same way, there are tax benefits set up in oil and gas, and you don't have to be involved in order, in order to get those benefits. Uh, if you look here, it says here intangible drilling and development cost. That stands for uh, IDC here. That's what IDC stands for, intangible drilling costs. Who gets the deduction? The right to deduct IDC is available only to the taxpayers who own the working interest or operating rights. Now, you as an investor, if you invest into a Texas joint venture, you are a working interest owner because you are purchasing working interest. And so the beauty of that is, is that A, you get tax benefits, and B, you get a percentage of all the oil that comes out of that ground for the life of the program. Now, let's take a look at the tax brackets. Now, if you're married, which most of my investors are, and let's say that you're in the, um, uh, these are your tax brackets right here. If you make 146 to 220. $3,000 a year for year 2013, your tax bracket is 28%. That means 28% of that income goes to Uncle Sam. Now, let's say just for uh, uh, math purposes here, you make $200,000 a year. Okay? So let's uh, pull out the calculator here. You make $200,000 a year. Now, multiply that times 28% because you are in the 28% tax bracket. 28%. Come 2014, when you're ready to file your taxes, you're going to be sending a check to the IRS for $56,000. That's if you have zero tax write-offs. That's if you have absolutely no clue of what you're doing. And you got to be a complete, completely crazy to, to send that kind of money to Uncle Sam if you don't have to. Now, here's a benefit of oil and gas. I'm going to show you what an oil and gas investment can do for you. I'm going to pull out another calculator here. Now, let's take that original uh, $200,000 uh, taxable income that you made for two, 2013. Uh, if you made it from your job or uh, capital gains, what have you, doesn't matter. Uncle Sam still takes it. $200,000 for that year. And in oil and gas, if you make, let's say, for instance, uh, you invest into a unit in my program, right? $88,000 investment. If you make an $88,000 investment for the year 2013, you get a write-off roughly, on average, about 85% of the total investment off in the first year it's made. And then you amortize the rest of that over the next three years. So inevitably, it's 100% tax deductible. But let's look at what it does for you in the first calendar year. So let's take 88000 multiply that times 85%. That means you have a tax write-off come 2014, time to, uh, to pay your taxes. You have a tax write-off for 74800 Let me show you what this can do for your income for that year of 2013. So you take 200000 subtract 74800 Oops, 200000 minus 74800 100. Now, your taxable income goes down from 200000 down to $125,000. So not only do you have less income to pay taxes on, you get lower down to a lower tax bracket. Now, originally you were paying 28% because you made $200,000 a year because you're in between the 146 and 223000 Now you drop down to a 25% tax bracket because $72,000 to $146,000 uh, is in the 25% tax bracket. So let's, let me show you what that does for you. Let me pop up these other calculators here. I lost them. 
Okay, $125,200 times 25%. Now, instead of paying Uncle Sam the original $56,000, now you're paying Uncle Sam $31,000. I'm Sean Pruitt with Kingdom Exploration. If you have any other questions or concerns, feel free to find me on my website at Kingdom Exploration. Give me a call. I'd enjoy chatting with you.